Hey guys, I'm going to be off camera for this video, but I just got my giant colored rain palette in the mail and I thought I would try and film for you guys me trying to organize it. Now my husband did decide to mow the lawn, so if you can hear that, it's going to be pretty loud. Also, my cat Sephora is meowing, she wants attention, but this is what the palette looks like. It came in this huge pink box and it had that plastic wrapping. It came very well packaged. Of course, there's not a whole lot to get damaged with something like this, and here is the plastic cover for the box. Now, this thing retailed for $45, I do believe, and then shipping was $5.95, but I did use the code TRENDMOOD to get 10% off, so that dropped my total down to $46.45 with shipping, so I thought that was awesome. Now I did order this 924 and I did receive it 927 so that was really good as well. So this is what the palette looks like. This is supposed to hold 96 single shadows. I am so excited for this guys because I have been trying to come up with a way to like store all my single shadows in a way so I can get more use out of them. Currently I have them set up. I have this one which I've kind of dug into and picked out some of my favorite colors. So this is a Makeup Forever palette. Here are some of my favorite neutrals and glitters in this Z palette and then I also have some of my more colorful shades stored in this Tarte palette. So I kind of have them everywhere. I have a few of these blush singles and contour shades as well. I don't think I'll be able to incorporate them, incorporate them into this giant palette, but that's okay. I also have some ColourPop quads. So this is the I Love Sarahi quad, as well as some ColourPop singles from their new collection that just launched that I did receive as well. So this is gonna be quite the project. Hopefully I have enough battery left in me. I hope if you guys are organization experts, you can give me some tips, but I'm going to leave it open like this. And basically these palettes are a mix of Makeup Geek, MAC, ColourPop, you name it, we've got it going on. So let's go ahead. I want to start with basically like a neutral row. So anything that I would use as a brow bone highlight, I'm going to try and color code these. Uh, but this is, I don't even know, this I think is from my Powder and Pandemonium palette. If you guys haven't seen my review, I did that ages ago. This is a brand created by somebody here in North Dakota. So I did pick up her palette and you can actually depot those shades. So that is what I did. Here is another peachy shade that I would always use as a brow bone. This is Peach Smoothie. Um, so I'm going to pop that right there. This I like to use as a brow bone highlight as well. Let me grab this shade. Again, I think this is from my Powder and Pandemonium palette. I also have this one, which is MAC Nylon. So I'm going to throw that in here as well. I'm going to do my best to color code, but I can't 100% promise that, you know, it's going to end up exactly gradient because I have too many shadows right now in front of me. Oh, here is another shade in the I Love Sarahi collection. I'm going to depot these two. I was going to review these, but these have been out for so long. I feel like a review at this point would be redundant. So this is a shade Distressed. And so those are kind of all the colors I see that would be good brow bone shades in this collection of palettes I have sitting out here in front of me. So next, we're gonna do more of those neutral lighter shades. So I'm gonna pop this shade, which is like this. This is Shimma Shimma by Makeup Geek as well. So that's another good brow bone highlight. And then let's see here, is there anything else? Okay, this is kind of light, but I wouldn't really use this as a brow bone highlight. I would probably just use this on the lid. This is Saint Germain cocktail and I believe this is by the brand Colored Rain. It's a beautiful shade so I'm going to pop that there and then they have some other lighter sparkly shades that I want to put up there as well. This is another pretty one. This is Glamour by Colored Rain. Super beautiful and then this Makeup Geek one I can put up there as well. So I'm just adding the lighter shimmery shades. This is, let's see here, this is Vivacious from the I Love Sarahi line. So let's put that over there. And then I have more light shades. This is another one by 
color drain. God, I keep dropping these. This is Champagne Life. Very pretty. Throwing that over there. This shade could kind of work in that light category. This is Flashy by Color Drain. So I'm going to throw that in there. And then, do we have any other light colors that I can throw up in that first row? Hmm. Not really. So now I'm going to do all my neutral shades. This is going to be so hard. I have so many like matte brown colors. So let's see here. I'm going to see what I can do. So here are some of these shades. My god. This Makeup Forever palette, guys, does not mess around. Here is another color from ColourPop. This is Freckles from I Love Sorry. This magnet feels really nice. I have some more neutral shades. Here is Tan Lines by Makeup Geek. One of their most famous colors. Here is Hot Cocoa by Makeup Geek. This one is Saddle by MAC. And then I've got uh, this shade, which is Gingerbread by Colored Rain. This is insane, guys. Like, why do I have so many shades that are similar? Okay, more browns. Now I'm going to gradient to like the more tan browns. So this one is Native by Colored Rain. And we have Coco Bear, famous one from Makeup Geek. And this is another color from, they're so hard to grab. This Makeup Forever palette is giving me a run for my money. This is from my palette by Powder and Pandemonium. And then here is another tan color. This is Sidekick by Makeup Geek, I believe. Okay, now let's do some of those like yellowy shades, I believe. So I have a bright yellow right here. This is uh, Chrome Yellow by MAC. Pretty color. I have some of these other Ah, this is so hard to grab these. This is Tiki, which I don't think I've ever even used, by ColourPop. And I feel like I got some newer shades that are in that yellow color range as well. Oh, this color, I thought, this is from the new ColourPop collection. Uh, this is Koi, which I thought was a pretty, like, yellowy orange shade. Urgh. I love the Makeup Geek press shadows, guys. Never thought I would, but here I am. It's like a pukey, beautiful shade. So let me grab some of those because I do have a bunch of those. This is Paper Tiger, also from ColourPop. Um, this is Chickadee by Makeup Geek. Here is Early Bird by Makeup Geek. Um, I want to toss this golden yellow shade in here as well. This is Superstar by Colored Rain. And I think that's it. And now I want to do, oh, this color. This is Desert Sand by Makeup Geek. And now let's do like the oranges and the corals. So let's start off with this guy from... Color pop. Ah, falling. This is the shade Razzie, I believe. No, this is Heavy Glam from the I Love Sarai palette. Then I have all of these corally shades, so let me grab them. This is a lot of work. This is Making Moves, I believe, by Color Pop. And then I have some of these peachy shades from Colored Rain. So I have Happy Days. Um, I have a Shortcake. And then I have this shade, which is called Pumpkin. Pretty bright orange shade. 
Then we have Morocco, which I love by Makeup Geek. This is from MAC Cosmetics. This is Red Brick. This is Poppy by Makeup Geek. Such a pretty color. Here is a random Makeup Geek shadow. No, this is from... I don't even know what brand this is from, but I'm gonna include that right here. I don't ever use it, but I'm gonna try. Also wanna pop in these ColourPop ones. These are new as well. This is Imperial from the new line. I just thought it was a beautiful shade. It's gonna fit right in with all of these warm colors. And then this one, which is called Fortune Cookie. It just looked like a bold reddish orange shade. So I think I'm gonna save that for closer to the end of this row. But I don't have anything like that in my collection. So let's leave that there. Okay, more orangey shades. This is actually more brown orange. This is Criss Cross, I believe, by ColourPop. And then let's put some of these tan. This is uh, Copper Ring by MAC. Beautiful, and then I'm gonna throw in this shade, which is Grandstand by Makeup Geek up here, and then this beautiful copper shade um, by Makeup Geek as well, I believe. No, this is Color Drain Downtown. Pretty, and I think that'll go perfectly right there. Okay, uh, so far so good. Okay, so here are some of the shades I have in this palette now. Um, so let's throw in some of these neutral brown colors. Um, so what is this color? This is called Cherry Cola by Makeup Geek. Um, here is another brown. This is Mocha uh, by Makeup Geek. Uh, actually, Mocha, I think... Mocha should have gone over here. Dong it. Where can I throw in Mocha? Okay, let's bring those down here for like those darker shades. Um, Cause I have a few of those as well. Actually, let's make it this row. These are gonna be some of the smokier shadows. Here is Wild West by Makeup Geek. I have a uh, Chocolate by Colored Rain, the shade uh, Americano by Makeup Geek. Um, so I'm just gonna put that right there. And then some of these, let's throw in, oh, here is another color by ColourPop. This is uh, Noche, I believe, another nice smoky brown. Here's a perfect, another shimmery one to throw in there. This is Secrets by Makeup Geek. Mm, I'm gonna throw in, this is a Bitten by Makeup Geek. I'm gonna throw that in right there. And then let's put in, this I think can go there. This is Showtime by Makeup Geek and then do I have any other reddish colors? Oh, this is a good dark shade to put in here. This is uh, Mo Moments by Colored Rain. That dark row. So I'm done with this palette um, by I Love Sarah E. And then I have these, which are like more purples. So I'm gonna start another row right here for my mauve shades. Now these are like my go-to mauves. This is uh, Petal Pusher by Makeup Geek Love. Um, here. This color too I love. This is going to be uh, Chick Happens from the I Love Sarah E palette. Pretty. Um, here's a pretty purple. This is 143 by ColourPop. Um, and then here's a pretty color as well. This is Beautiful Iris from MAC. And then let's throw in the dark purple shade, which is Lit from ColourPop. And, ooh, what are these colors? These are more green. So, 
And this I think can go like kind of at the end there. Um, okay, so I have some pink, so let's throw those in here. Um, I have Sushi Flower from Makeup Geek, and then this is Passionate, or Sushi Flower is from ColourPop. Passionate, I think, is also from ColourPop. Um, this pink shade is pretty too. This is Come and Get It, I believe, from ColourPop. Um, I'm going to throw this pretty glitter called Pink Coral in here too. And then let's throw this darker purple kind of like right there. And then I'm just, for lack of better judgment, I'm going to put Stay Golden right here just so I can complete that row. And then I'm going to put, uh, oh, here's more purples. So I got to move these down. This is hard work, guys. I don't know if you guys realize, but organizing these are no joke. This is Phantom by Makeup Geek. I honestly don't like this color, but don't have a choice because I bought it and I need to use it. And then I'm going to throw this glitter in here just so it kind of like continues over there. So that's cute. Okay, now I need a row of these like blue green shades. So let's do that. I want the dark shades at the very bottom. So I'm gonna start with this guy from uh, MAC called or Aqua. Don't know why I bought these shades, honestly. And then we have this shade, which is another MAC one called Steamy. Um, this blue color is so pretty. It's called Atlantic Blue, and then this one is Cobalt, also from MAC. And then let's do the shade right here, which is a beautiful blue from Colored Rain that I totally fell for, called Malibu. Um, I love this blue, too, that I fell for from Colored Rain, called Majestic. And here's another blue that I fell for called Blue Magic. And then let's do the greens. Make sure I look around so I don't miss anything. Oh, and then this is a new um, Makeup Geek shade. And I want to say this is like a blue-green pigment. But let's see here. Uh, yeah, this is pretty. Should I put that right there? That's called uh, Crystal Ball, I think. What is this color called? Glass Ball. God, look at this color. So pretty. It's one of their newer shades, like a purpley blue. So far, so good. Okay, let's see here. So, lightest green I have is this one called Sour Lemon. Uh, ooh, crap, I just dug my nail into one. Then we have uh, Lime by MAC. Um, this green shade is from... Color Rain called Bay Breeze. So pretty. Uh, this one I never use, but it's called Swimming from MAC. Okay, love. Let's see if I can move these down. Why aren't these magnetizing? That's so annoying. Okay. Ah! Okay, let's get this black in here. Oh. It's not enough room. Okay, let's hold on. Okay, I gotta get these neutrals in here as well. So I'm just gonna randomly throw these in. This is Golden Olive. Actually, I feel like I should move. Hold on, let's do the green, sorry. I can't make up my mind. Okay, so I have these. this shade by Mac called Kelly. This one is called Gumby from Color. Okay, guys, in the middle of filming this, my battery did die, and I just couldn't keep my hands to myself. So I did go ahead and complete this palette. So if you guys want to know every single shade that's in here, leave me a comment down below. I'd be happy to go over every single shadow in this palette. But right now, I am so pooped 
that I don't have time, but these are the shadows that didn't make it. This is an old shadow from, I don't even know what brand, um, but this is like a dupe for MAC Blue Brown pigment. Um, and it's really beautiful. I just never really get around to using it. And I do have a similar shade in the Manny Makeup Geek collab palette. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this in with these single like face shadows or face products that I have that are singles. And then I have these uh, two reds again from the powder and pandemonium palette. I do really like these colors, but there was just no room for them in this palette. So eventually I will try and make space for these two shades. I did get quite a lot of use from that palette when I had it in its one container, but I did, did decide to depot them. Um, so they are super pretty, but right now there is no room. And then the last shade in here that I wasn't able to fit in, again, is from the Powder and Pandemonium Fat palette. It's a beautiful, like, taupe shimmer shade. There is that color. You can barely see it. Um, these are quite a bit old, too, so, I mean, it'll be fine. And then this one shade obviously was not going to fit in here. This is from Glitter Injections, and it's Bella Bronze. And these are insane. If you've ever played with these, um, my friend Nisha is the one that kind of convinced me that I needed to try these. Um, so much glitter, basically a pressed glitter. I have two of them in this palette, so I'm going to leave them there. This one is kind of an odd size, so I won't be able to stick that in this palette. But yeah, this is how I organize my Colored Rain Large Palette. This, this is basically all my single eyeshadows. I was able to get everything in here, and the only ones that didn't fit are basically these and then this big huge glitter injections one so I'm not mad about it so excited to have everything in here I'm not buying any more freaking single eyeshadows until I hit some serious pan on this palette but I hope you guys enjoyed me showing you how I organize this like I said if you want to know what all these shades are just leave me a comment down below thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you soon bye